The debate about the health aspects of secondhand marijuana smoke have been raging on for a long time. But what about the fear of failing a drug test at work or a traffic stop by police, even if you haven't partaken in smoking weed? I'm Michael Lumsden in Calgary, and a new study from the U of C states that the environment you find yourself in and how long you stay there could have a big effect on your THC levels, even if you're just an innocent bystander. So there are effects um, to those around you when you smoke ma marijuana or cannabis, and that will vary depending on the number of joints and the area that you're in. So if you're in your kitchen and you're passing around some joints, those around you who may choose not to smoke can um, and will absorb some of the THC content into their blood and urine. And the time needed to allow THC into your system is not long at all. According to the study authored by Fiona Clement, depending on the strength of the strand and the lack of circulation in the room, it could be as little as 15 minutes before you test positive on a zero tolerance test, with longer exposure only raising the concentration of THC in your blood. Clement says the message of the study wasn't meant to be a buzzkill, but to show the consequences of not being cognizant of your surroundings. She adds she has an additional message for those who want to toke on their own time. Take it outside. That's the safest place for you to consume your cannabis to reduce your own risk and the risk of those around you. Companies like Suncor have recently announced a mandatory drug test after the cannabis legalization legislation comes into effect in 2018, while police across the country continue to test out their impaired driving kits as to be ready for launch. Constable Len Stefaniak of the Calgary Police Service Traffic Service says personal use won't be illegal, but if you're exposed to cannabis smoke, the test kits don't disseminate how the THC got into your blood. If you're in an area where you don't smoke um, and you're uh, exposed to it, that doesn't necessarily mean that you might be impaired, but you could still have a positive nanogram in there. Michael Lumsden, City News.